Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Tigers. I'm Allie. She's Sydney. And today is not only a science collaboration, it's also April 13th and Americans Creed Day. William Tyler Page, a messenger in the U.S. House of Representatives, wrote the Americans Creed in 1917. His essay was the winning entry in a national contest for the best summary of American political faith. The House of Representatives adopted the 100-word statement in April 1918. Here it is. I believe in the United States of America as the government of the people, by the people, for the people. Whose just powers are deprived from faith the for the consent of the government, a democracy, and a republic, a sovereign nation of many sovereign states. A perfect union, one and inseparable, established upon those principles of freedom, equality, justice, and humanity for which American patriots sacrificed their lives and fortunes. I therefore believe it is my duty to my country to love it, to support its constitution, to obey its laws, to represent, to respect its flag, and to defend it against all enemies. There you have it, the American's Creed. Speaking of things that relate to America and government, there are three days left for the Americanism and government test this year. Let's have a good turnout for Black River Falls High School. We have dozens of students that have a good knowledge of the Constitution and other citizenship-related items. Mr. Ricken emailed you a link last week to help you get into the test. It is an online test that takes 30 to 40 minutes. You could complete the test during focus in the morning. Now, on to the announcements. We've got meetings for Senate, football, cheerleaders, and FFA. But before that, let's remember, it's natural, National Poetry Month. Last week, you heard Jenna Briggs recite her original poem, Image. Let's hear from Emily Burns, our latest resident poet. This is my poem titled, I Don't Know. I feel as if I am trapped inside a dark hole, like my mind is wandering away from my own control. I don't know where I am, so I sit and stare. I don't know who you are, and I am scared. It's like the date doesn't even exist. Don't even ask me the year, because I cannot tell you what you want to hear. You are like a stranger to me of someone I never knew now holding my hand and the kiss is blown. I feel as if I am trapped inside a dark hole, like my mind is wandering away from my own control. I don't know where I am, so I sit and stare. I don't know who you are, and I am scared. It's like the date doesn't exist. Don't even ask me the year, because I cannot tell you what you want to hear. You are like a stranger to me of someone I never knew, now holding my hand and the kiss is blown. A kiss like a long lost loved one is saying goodbye, or leaving me, or I am to die. At a glimpse, I can remember who you are, like a memory mocking my mind from afar. This disease is an ugly face I have to wear, no matter a smile or a frown. When I look into the mirror, I think of a cure. Imagine not knowing who you are when looking into that same mirror. Alzheimer's is a thief taking everything away from me. I am constantly hiding things like I'm playing hide and seek, but with who? There's no way of helping this disease. You can only make me happy. Sometimes it's hard to be happy, so I stay unhappy for a long time. I'm like a tree losing its leaves, except I'm losing my memories from this disease. When you have left, I think I know who you are now. Why are you leaving? Did I make you mad? Please don't go. Where did that stranger go? I don't know. I feel like a dog treading water to barely stay above the surface of memories I know. Your words are clear as mud to me right now. I do not know what you're saying. I do not understand, so I just sit here and I nod. I can act like a volcano exploding when all the pressure is built up and I don't know what to do, so I fight. I don't know why I'm fighting or what's making me mad. I just think it's so, <gasps> think of the people around me and think of people like me and think of the word cure. Amazing work. We'll be wrapping up our student poetry month next week with a piece performed by Allison Sapahiolu. And again, the announcements. The Student Senate will have its final regular meeting of the year today during FOCUS. Senators, come prepared to discuss some preliminaries related to the 2016 to 2017 school year. Cheer! 2016 high school football cheerleaders will meet today during FOCUS in the high school commons with Coach Brown. If you are interested in being a part of that team, make sure you attend this meeting. Sign in with Coach Smith. 
Attention juniors and seniors, let's talk about prom. Do you have your dance guest permission form turned in if you need one? If you haven't, pick it up outside the office. Did you get your ticket? Save money, get them during lunch through Wednesday. <laughs> $25 for one and $40 for two. And while you're at it, if you have a ticket to prom in hand, you can get into post-prom. They are $5 for one and eight for two. Unless you want to buy, wait until buy until the night of prom. <laughs> You'll pay more then. Now it's FFA time. FFA members, our co-op test plot meeting is tomorrow, Thursday, April 14th during focus period in the Ag Room. Come see what this group is all about and how you can even make money by participating in it. And this Friday will be our, we will be helping set up the Spring Thaw Beef Show at the fairgrounds after school. We, can use, we could use some help. Please stop by after school Friday to the fairgrounds and lend a hand for an hour or two. Thank you. Last up, the blood drive. The third and final blood drive will be Wednesday, April 27th in the high school LMC from 9 to 2. If interested in donating, see Ms. Halverson for a time. All right, that's it. Have a swell day, Tigers. So sick.